So what is Split Horizon? Well, this is David's Tables, and that's today's Monday Minute. And as you're watching this video, I hope you'll consider clicking on that subscribe button as well. So what is Split Horizon? Split Horizon is something that you may see on your CCNA or CCENT exams uh, for, from Cisco talking about how to prevent routing loops. So essentially, let's take a look at this network that we've been working on here. And if I look at router one, well, router one, we can see that over here on the left-hand side, I've got my 192.168.1.0 network. Over here to the right, I've got my .5.0, .0, and various other pieces of the network. And let's say that when router one advertises out its routes, whether it be by RIP or OSPF or EIGRP, uh, whatever method we're using here, it's going to advertise this 192.168.1.0 out to the right-hand side over here in this network model that we've got here, right? So if I was to advertise that out and then that link went down, well, all these other routers basically are now advertising back out that route to transfer across the network, right? Well, what happens if that route got advertised back to router one from router two saying router two knows how to get to router one? Well, now essentially what's going to happen is with this link down, router one's going to say, okay, now how else do I get to 192.168.1.0? So essentially it's going to start forwarding those packets over here to router two or perhaps to router five. It's going to say, well, I know router two told me it knows how to get to 192.168.1.0. I'm just going to send the packet over there. Router two is going to get it and say, oh, I know how to get to 192.168.1.0. I send that to router one. So essentially, we're going to start playing ping pong with these packets, right? It's going to bounce back and forth and back and forth, and we've got a nice little routing loop. So in order to prevent that, we've basically got this concept called Split Horizon. So Split Horizon basically says, do not advertise a route back out of an interface that you learned it from. So when Router2 learns of 192.168.1.0, it will not re-advertise that route back out to Router1. And that way, Router1 can't just automatically start trying to play ping pong with this packet if this link over here on the left hand side goes down. So if you've got any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick Monday Minute. Uh, thank you for all those who have already subscribed. Be sure to join everyone else and click on that subscribe button as well down below. And I will look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon. <laughs>